When somebody says to me, what laptop should I get? I use a couple of key questions to narrow down what they're looking for and help them pick the right laptop for them. Now the first question I ask somebody is how many days per week do you feel like you're gonna be carrying this laptop around with you? If you say, I'm taking my laptop with me five days a week to work and back on a commute, well then you want something very thin, very small. You take your laptop around with you maybe to work or to the coffee shop two or three days a week, maybe just occasionally. Well then you can get a regular mainstream 13 inch laptop, maybe even a 14 inch one. Now, if your laptop stays at home all the time or at the office all the time, maybe you just take it home once a week or very occasionally, then you can get a bigger screen, more mid-size laptop 15 inch, sometimes 14 inch model. These are bigger, they're heavier, they're sometimes more powerful. Uh, they can have higher resolution screens. Uh, they can have more component options. They usually have more ports. That makes them more useful, but also a lot harder to carry around. The second question I ask people is, how much do you want to spend on your laptop? Now, if you want to spend $1,000, $1,200, there are a ton of fantastic choices, no problem there. And if you want to spend less, $800, even $500, even less, we can point you in the right direction, maybe towards something like a Chromebook, which is uh, usually less expensive and less capable than a full-featured Windows laptop, but still very useful for a lot of people. Now, of course, usually if you spend a lot more on a laptop, it's probably gonna be good for a few more years because you've gotten more powerful components. You have an actual body of the laptop that's probably made of metal instead of plastic and it's gonna stand up to abuse better. So you get more years out of it before you feel like you have to replace it. The third question I usually ask is, is there anything really special you need it to do? If you're using it in a, in a business environment, you wanna make sure that maybe it has the biometric security that you want, like a fingerprint reader or a facial recognition camera. One of the most exciting areas in laptops right now is in gaming laptops. We're finally at the point where you can get pretty much the same power as you would from a very high-end expensive gaming desktop and something that's much smaller, much more compact, a gaming laptop. That's because the new mobile versions of GPU chips from NVIDIA and AMD are just as good on the laptop version as they are on the desktop version. Another thing to watch out for is modern laptops sometimes don't have all the ports that maybe classic laptops had. Today, some laptops only come with one port or two ports, and usually those are USB type C ports, which is a very useful type of port to have, but you need to have equipment that's compatible with it or have all the adapters and dongles that you'll need to connect your legacy stuff to this new tiny USB C port. You know what drives people the most nuts about their laptops? And they're not wrong, it's battery life. Everyone always feels like their laptop should last all day, and it very rarely does. We're getting a lot better with battery life now, and I can definitely say over the last several years, battery life in laptops has expanded. We have laptops now that have 10 hours, 11 hours, 12 hours of battery life. Don't discount battery life when you're shopping for a laptop, and most importantly, don't believe what it says on the box when it comes to battery life, because those tests are not quite as rigorous as the testing we do over here at CNET. Listen to our battery life numbers, we'll give you a much better picture of what you can expect from your laptop. <laughs>